2.6 million couples are expected to tie the knot this year, 20% more than the pre-pandemic average. The Knot Wedding Survey found last year's average wedding cost $34,000. And inflation is sure to push that number even higher. Esther Lee, deputy editor at The Knot, is here to help you save money, whether you're planning a wedding this year or merely attending one. Uh, Esther, thank you for being here. $34,000 yeah. is a ton. And you're telling me it's going to go up? In what areas? So what we're seeing this year is, of course, it's a record year for weddings. And indeed, the $34,000 was the average in 2021. Wedding industry isn't immune to the inflation that's currently happening. But what we are seeing is that couples are more excited than ever to celebrate, as our guests, too. And that's what we're seeing from our data. If you would call up a place and you're going to rent it and you tell them it's just a party, not a wedding, just a party, do you mm -hmm. think you'll get a better deal? That's not the case. We always recommend that couples do go in with transparency uh, because, you know, vendors really do want to give you the best day. And, of course, weddings are exceptional. So imagine just having a party versus a wedding. Yeah. Uh, the vendors will actually make it happen because that's what they do. So you're saying get the price for the party but then show up with the I wedding decorations? Got, keep in mind, I'm a veteran of marriage here. I've been married twice. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, and I, I do get the impression in my experience that, that they upcharge. say wedding, they're like, oh, oh. oh. You'll, you'll really right. shell out. So, But you're saying be transparent. Be transparent. Okay. Because the vendors really do want to make the perfect day happen for you. And believe me, they know what's happening with costs right now. So as long as you're open about your budget, very direct, um, they're going to be flexible and solution-oriented too. So for example, roses are currently two to three times the cost because of what's happening in Ecuador. People have to ship it in from wow. the Netherlands. And so what they're doing right now is designers are saying, listen, here are some floral alternatives. They're equally as beautiful. Mm -hmm. And listen, it'll work for your budget too. And so have these conversations. That's what we're encouraging couples to do right now. What's the best way to save money? Uh, one of the best ways to save money actually is back to florals. Again, take your decor from the ceremony and transfer it to the reception. It's such a hack that we tell couples to do. Also, figure out your top three priorities. So like for your budget, what is it that you want? Do you want this caterer? Do you want Carbone to cater your food? Do you want this specific band? And also have these discussions and then allocate your budget appropriately from there. We see that um, guests of weddings are, um, the number is going to go up from previous years, of course. Um, so the question is, if somebody's sitting back saying, I want to go to this wedding, I also want to get a gift, but I don't want to break my bank doing so. That is selfish. How can, that is what? Selfish. <laughs> you invited me. It's selfish that you invited me. Uh, so how can somebody save money on gift giving? So one of the main tips that we have for all guests, and again, like you're super excited to celebrate this year, right, is to go to the couple's wedding registry because they took the time to create it. Whether it's the experiences like the honeymoon fund or they actually have the KitchenAid stand mixer that they've been eyeing together, um, the guests can find an amalgamation of all types of price points and they can purchase from there. So get started sooner on gift. So find the list and then grab the cheapest thing. Well, you know, also, I did want to say this. It's also about your relation to the couple, right? Oh, that makes sense. That's yeah, so the closer you are, the more inclined that you probably will be to give more to support that couple. Um, I'm going to a wedding in a few weeks, and I'm super excited. I'm actually in it as a oh. bridesmaid. Oh, so you got to break the bank. Oh, yeah. I, I don't know. Well, the couple is a little bit excited about, you know, <laughs> the fact that I don't have to do a destination wedding. I will just be upstate in New York, which gotcha. is nice. Gotcha. Yeah. Is there a sort of um, special price point? You know, even though you're talking about the gifts that they may have online, but is $100 in a card, $50 in a card? Is that, does that work? $50? Is that too cheap? And a card. And a card. <laughs> and a card. Don't forget the card. <laughs> well, the card is a really nice touch. We always recommend to have the card in there. But also, we are telling couples, listen, and guests that, you know, it's really about your relationship with the couple. Yeah. Or in the relationship. Yeah. Okay. So it's really how much are you inclined to give? And of course, there's that one-year rule that you have until after the wedding is over to even gift them. We, we see the graphic here. Average cost attending the wedding, almost $500. Oh, my God. And then almost 200 spent on the gift. $160 for a wedding gift. You really have to not just budget for the wedding, but if you are going, you almost have to budget for it as well. I want to go back to the, to the people uh, actually getting married. Uh, if one of those people is wearing a gown, uh -oh. is there a way? That, usually, I can break the bank. Yeah. So how, what, are there ways to cut the cost on the gown front? I'm so glad that you asked this question because one of the ways that you actually can save is by going to a bridal salon, telling those experts on site like what your budget is, mm -hmm. and them suppressing in the cost of tailoring and everything else. Mm -hmm. And so we actually encourage, and we're seeing this in our data too, is that all brides are mostly turning to bridal salons, although some are turning to other alternative options. At the end of the day, it's really about the total package of that cost, right? Yeah. Yeah. But $34,000, man. 
you know what's Just interesting? Just on average. Mm. That does include the um, engagement ring, too. That oh. does okay. include Okay, all right, okay. all right. Well, that makes a little more sense. Right. Are knives a good wedding gift? <laughs> if you want the cutlery, then by all means, do it. Okay. Yes. The I'll metaphor is a little on the Just note. only use them for the food. Yeah, only for the Not food. Extra sharp knives. Later on in the marriage. <laughs> Esther, thank you very much. Appreciate it.